Welcome back. In the previous video, we had created a Facebook page, set up our IFTPLT server, chatbot, and add a free IO account. Now, let's see the circuit diagram of appliance control using IoT and AI chatbot. As you can see, the circuit is built around node MCU and relay switching circuit. In this video, I am not going to deal with relay switching circuit because we had already posted very detailed tutorial on how to make relay switching circuit. So if you are new to relay switching circuit, then please do watch our previous posted video. Link is integrated in description section. Now it's time to see the software part for this project. You cannot directly program this node MCU with your Arduino ID. For that, you have to do few setup. Here are few steps to set up your Arduino ID. For that, open your Arduino ID and click on File and then Preference. A new pop-up window of Preference will appear. There in Additional Board Manager URL section, you have to enter ESP8266 JSON URL. For this URL, please see the description section. I had attached it there. Now, copy that URL and paste it to Additional Board Manager URL section and press OK. Now go to tool board board manager there a new pop-up window of board manager will appear there search for ESP8266 now a library ESP8266 by ESP8266 community will appear install it and close the window in this way you had set up your Arduino ID in order to program node MCU now the last step is to select the node MCU board for that click on tool and then board scroll down till you find node mcu 1.0 select it before uploading this program to your node mcu you have to download few more library that is at a fruit slash mqtt dot h at a fruit slash mqtt slash client dot h and esp8066 wi-fi dot h if you haven't installed this library to your arduino id then you have to download it and install to your arduino id for installing required library to your Arduino IDE, let's assign the Wi-Fi name and its password in place of SSID. Enter your Wi-Fi name and in place of password, enter your Wi-Fi password. After that, you have to do few other things like defining Adafruit IO username and Adafruit IO secret key in place of username. Now in place of AIO username, enter your username given by Adafruit and in place of AIO key, enter your secret key given by Adafruit IO. Finally, in this way you had set up your hardware, software and third party setup. Now it's time to upload the code to your node MCU. Now the entire setup is ready. Here I am using 12 volt power supply because I am going to light up this 12 volt LED bulb. This voltage regulator is used here because the relay I am using here is of 6 volt and this LED is used to indicate whether the power supply is coming or not. As you can see here, this D3 pin is connected to the base of transistor here and the ground is common with the circuit. I am connected the load here with this ground and the power supply is from this relay output pin. Now. Let's give the power supply to our node MCU. If now after connecting entire component according to I'll the circuit diagram, let's connect the power supply. This glowing LED indicate that power is given. Now let's send the message for switch on the light like L I G H D light on enter. As you can see here, this light glow up. Similarly, if I going to write light off and then enter. So you can control your appliance through your Facebook Messenger. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel in order to get notification of every new content posted in Best Engineering Project channel.